dawn comes. The sun breaking free of the horizon into a sky etched with cloud. To Sir Onier, looking down upon the city of Viborera from his balcony at Magnolia Palace, it seems oddly appropriate. Has he always been one to rise so early? He still doesn't have answers to simple questions like this. The screeching wyverns and pounding feet of Oikadi in pursuit are now but a memory. Vivid in recesses of his mind, but a memory nonetheless. Although, the vassal is the one dominating his thoughts now. Against every expectation to be asked of an amnesiac knight, he has managed to meet her, perhaps even become one of her companions. But she is not quite what he expected. Imperious, yes, but he senses something fragile about her, too. Is that woman really the Amaranth sympathizer she always suspects her to be? And that mysterious cloaked knight who accompanies her? What to make of him? He doesn't know. He can only gaze upon the vista before him and pray answers come soon. Chapter 4 City of Vipers Suzaku's point of view We're going separate ways. Amaranth mostly operates in Pylum. If they set their eyes on Hoikata, the political balance between our nations may be at risk. I'm not sure what they're plotting, but I need to follow their trail before it's too late and report the situation to the matri ma matriarch. However, our investigation on the vassal is important as well, so you shall proceed independently on that side. <laughs> don't worry, as long as you don't do anything reckless, it shouldn't be a dangerous mission. Just keep your eyes peeled. So she said. But I never imagined I'd have ended up following the vassal all the way here to Magnolia. And the fact that she's being chased down by her own country is suspicious to say the least. I feel like there's more to the story that needs to be uncovered. Hey little one, did you really have to follow me all the way here? Well, if you're attracted to riches, then surely this place, full of pompous princesses, must be to your liking. Excuse me? Uh-oh. I must have overheard a conversation with your dog about pompous princesses. Uh, it's a wolf, actually, and he likes you. You won't make me fall so with such feeble attempts at flattery. Although I do like that creature, I guess it's cute. What? <laughs> Ahem. Whatever. What business do you have with me? I told you all about my circumstances, but I barely know anything about you, Sir Onier. I... I wish I knew that myself. You know about my circumstances, too. Please believe me, there's nothing more than what I've already told you. Nonsense. I'm not convinced. Are you all. saying the matriarch sent a clueless amnesiac man to talk diplomacy with the vassal? A child would have come up with a better lie. I can't blame his distrust. My position is hardly defendable. Helios. Not so fast, Helios. Forgive me, Lady Faratras, but you must have your own doubts as well. You're not so naive to believe such a story. Is it just me, or is the atmosphere really tense between the two of them anyway? I wonder if something happened. I can't say you're wrong, Helios, so... Forgive us, Sir Onya, but we'll be keeping a close eye on you. <laughs> so let's look at each other, respectfully. I have no objection. It would better be otherwise. Huh, great. I had to investigate her, but I seem the one under inspection right now. There's still some time before a meeting with the Empress. We'll face everything together. If you are so doubtful of me, why don't we visit the Borera together? That's fine by me. 
I agree. Let's talk to Rhea first, though. Phew. Hopefully we'll come to better understand each other. If only Shiori was here. Or Shiori. Everything would be easier. Oh well. Let's talk to Rhea. We could... I wonder where these stairs lead to. It's on the air. The throne room. Color me surprised. Have you been here before? I just overheard a couple of guards talking. How convenient. Any money? Uh, it doesn't seem like there's any money. Oh, never mind. There it is. Ooh, that's a lot of money, actually. This corridor leads to the rooms. I don't know what the other guests think, but it was the most comfortable bed I could remember. These flowers, I wonder if they represent something in particular. They're very pretty. Do you like flowers, Lady Faratras? <laughs> I love them, yes. The soldiers in the castle once gifted me a huge bouquet. The flowers withered eventually, but I've always treasured that memory. I see. So she has an emotional side too, huh? Unless it's the demon who's particularly good at acting. That chandelier looks fragile. Quite the opposite. It's elegant and sturdy. We have a similar one in the halls of Hoikade Castle. And unless a catastrophe happens, it's very unlikely to fall down and shatter. Alright. Uh, was that everything? I think so. Okay. I hope the accommodation was to your liking. It won't disappoint, that's for sure. I'd argue that the rooms in Hoikada Castle are better, mine especially. But they were comfortable enough. I appreciate your hospitality, Rhea. But being the princess of the kingdom that values practicality above appearances, you sure have high expectations. Nevertheless, it seems that the night of sleep has calmed at least a little of your inner turmoil, and for that I am glad. Well, thank you. That's awfully nice coming from the princess of the empire founded on bargaining and scheming. I can't tell if they're being appreciative of each other or not. Women sure are scary. Anyway, let's get to the point. Forgive us, Princess Rhea, but we were wondering if we could take a look around the city. Ha <laughs> I'm ready to smash! <laughs> okay, Kristoff. As if we were just going to let you walk around like nothing's wrong. That's fine. You can go. <gasps> what? But Rhea, she may be under the demon's control. And Suzaku has been acting quite strange. What if his mind is being controlled too? That's one of the many possibilities we should consider, yes, but it's not certain either. Empress Phoebe is going to deliver her verdict later. In the meantime, we shall not limit our guests' freedom any more than necessary. I appreciate it. Thank you, Princess. What? I ask for your cooperation. Now, now, don't act like you're relieved of any suspicion, because you're not. Christoph, you go with them and keep a close eye on everybody. Oh, what? I'm glad you're happy to hang out with our new friends. Rhea, wait! Well then, I need to make some arrangements for the meeting. Let's meet here at half past two. Understood. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> huh. Uh, shall we go then? Don't even try anything funny, pals. I'm watching you all. By the gods, we're all watching each other here. We now visit Viborera Plaza. And the mall. Alright. Then I guess we can go to the plaza first. We've got plenty of time. Oh, a bard. Greetings, travelers. What brings you here? We were just looking around. Who are... Hey, Lucos, don't be rude. You didn't react this intensely even in front of the princesses. Are you telling me this guy's filthy rich? With a cute Lucos as a friend, your soul shall well and truly mend. Spard is quite good. Wait, did he just... Did you say... Lucos? 
I thought it was just a common dog with some weird taste and accessories. How would anyone even assume that, Lady Faratros? <laughs> <laughs> I bet that her beloved demon, uh, <coughs> uh, Vassal here, has never interacted with a dog in her entire life. That's mean, Kristoff. <clears throat> Wait, is that true? Oh, this must be fate. To think the vassal'd come and end my painful wait. Dogs or McCoy aside, do we know each other, kind bard? You may call me Kalevala, and you may consider me an admirer of yours. Hopefully not the kind of admirer who stalks the princess and ends up being torn to shreds. Here's a valiant knight in a hood. His tongue cuts. But the heart is good. Is there anything you want from us? If you'll listen to this traveling bard, then yes, I'd like to ask something of you. I inherited this map from my family. It seems to point to a treasure hidden in the nearby forest. Well, that explains why Lucas was barking earlier. The bard's request, a burning heart seeks nothing but validation. In the forest where malice reeks, find the flames of damnation. Keovala. Okay. Whoa, whoa, wait a second. A treasure next to the capital of adventurers and spies? Hard to believe that it went unnoticed for all this time. Freedom is always a most precious gift. Your heart should follow your foot's example. Swift! In other words, you may believe what you want. But, if you go look for the treasure in my place, you can keep it. What? Why'd you leave it to us? All I ask is for you to bring it back to me. Then you can have it. We have more important matters to attend than some pesky treasure hunting. Well, we don't for the next four hours. Agreed. I'm hardly in the mood for that. I am. <laughs> but we do have time before the meeting. Why don't we accept? I'm not in the position to say this, but some distraction may help you, Lady Faratros. Do as you want. The proud vassal will lend me her strength. Truly am I blessed to see her go to such lengths. I will be awaiting your safe return. Beware the monsters of the forest. Okay. Uh, let me actually check uh, if it says anything particular about where in the forest, but no, I don't think so. All right. Uh, what else do we have here? Any kind of additional gold we can pick up? Oh, yep. There we go. I must say this plaza is well kept. Everything is so tidy and clean. Huh? What were you expecting exactly, buddy? Mold and puddles? Contrary to Hoikada, the Empire focuses a lot more on appearances. What are you saying, Helios? Our country's ability to landscape can easily match Magnolia's. For always being immersed in books, you Hoikadian shamans certainly pretend to know a lot about the outside world. Huh. Now, now, let's try to get along. All of the countries I've seen so far have been beautiful in their own way. All you've seen in Hoikada was one forest. <laughs> If you hadn't lost your memories, you'd have definitely said that Magnolia is better. Uh, okay. Uh, mole, huh? We can surely find some weapons there. What do you even need weapons for? Isn't that suspicious? How is it suspicious? We're being followed by, a Ho by Hoikadian troops and we need weapons to defend ourselves. Thanks for the backup, Vassal. But yeah, we may never know who we have to fight. We may even have to fight the Demon King eventually. I wonder if we'll find anything other than poisoned arrows and little daggers. Just what sort of preconceived notions do you have of Magnolia? Oh, he did all call them spies and something else earlier. Oh, nice. I've been asking myself for a while, but is that a snake? Ho ho ho, are you telling me you can't even recognize the Magnolian python? Judging by, uh, judging by your response, it must be the national symbol of Magnolia, right? 
<laughs> it seems you aren't totally clueless, Knight. Is that a compliment? Lurking in the shadows and spying on its prey, in this way Magnolia has always staked out a strategic role on the continent of Arvion. There's no better symbol than a python for this cunning empire. Huh. I'll take that as a compliment. Okay. Oh. Bronze. Two of it as well. Alright, I think that'll do that then. Uh, should we go to the mall first? Yeah, actually, sure. We have got almost 10,000 gold. That should be enough for the moment. A vendor. Food and fresh groceries. Okay. Well, I mean... I guess we could... When can we actually cook food? Hmm... Uh, should I buy some... I'll actually buy some oranges, I think. I think that's the best kind of, like, price for one bar of food. Give me five oranges. And what do you have, blacksmith? Bronze swords, an imbued mana drop. Okay. A bone shield, a leather vest, bronze mail, and a leather cap. Usually I like to, in uh, any kind of RPGs, to never buy armor and weapons because you kind of always get them as drops from somewhere else anyway and the little improvements. I don't really care too much about them. So I'm going to skip out on it for, you know, the immediate or foreseeable future. And I'll eventually get back to it if we're still running around with, like, bronze weaponry in five hours of gameplay. I wonder if adventurers usually rest in inns like this. I feel kind of privileged knowing that I just spent the night in the Imperial Palace. Okay, so clicking on random things can give us sanity. That's good to know. More money is always good as well. And some raw fish. I will happily take that. Uh, by the way... Oh, actually... Oh, actually, I should go to the inventory for that, right. Um, hunger. Uh, wait. I need to... I don't want to go back to scene. Any status. He likes grains, dairy, and dislikes alcohol. Okay. I think he's full on food. Uh, he dislikes dairy. Okay, so any milk goes to uh, Suzaku and any kind of fruits, Elios, okay. Uh, she dislikes fruits and vegetables. All right. I see. So the oranges uh, can go to Helios. <laughs> uh, he'll take two of these. Suzaku <laughs> doesn't mind them, I guess, so he can have two as well. Quite interesting. And then we will give the crab soup to Lady Faratraz. I appreciate it. To fill up her hunger. Perfect. Uh, what else do we have here? Do we have anything else here? Yes. That's a house entrance, right? Do people live in here amongst all the shops? Huh. <laughs> Is it that strange? This is one of the most renowned buildings in the city center. I'd only live here if my only friends were cats, because I'd surely smell like fish. Come on, buddy, don't be so overdramatic. I'm quite sure all your friends like fish. You missed the point, Christoph. Hey, instead of fantasizing about what they look like, why not take a look for yourself? Wouldn't that be quite inappropriate? You can now visit Magnolia and have swan. Uh, okay. Sure, apparently it's not that inappropriate. Or, I mean, it might still be, but we'll just go there anyway. Let's see. Elegant lady. Who do we have here? A band of mercenaries. Um, actually... You guys just happened to visit at the right time. I needed someone to bring me some wild potatoes. 
Excuse me, but what? Surely you won't deny my request. You can find them in the forest. Surely mercenaries like you won't deny such a request. All right, I mean, if you give me 2,400 gold for it and some fairy incense, I will happily bring you some potatoes. Her wild potato. My soup is the best in Viberera. Ah, the sweet fragrance of cream mixed with mushrooms and boar meat. I just need some potatoes and I'll be able to complete my dish. But not just any potatoes, wild potatoes. I'm so lucky that Viber Viberera is crawling with brave adventurers who'd fight off some monsters and harvest those delicious tubers. Her wife. Her wife? Oh, come on, Lucas. You don't even care about the dish. You just want the reward. And Magnolia, it's perfectly normal for mercenaries and adventurers to take on various quests for the common folk. Well, what do you say? Shall we do this in perfect accord with Magnolian customs? We'll convince her. I'm not sure that Lady Firetoss is in a mood for such trivial matters. I appreciate your concern, but I'm fine. I don't think that's what convince meant, but okay. Oh, so you're in perfect health, and despite that, you'd leave this lady alone with her issues? Tch, who said that? Okay, we are convincing her. It's only that... I suppose that some distraction may be useful to keep my emotions in check. I wouldn't want my mana generation to weaken any further. <laughs> Quite the opposite from Rhea. She always says she doesn't have time for these things. I wonder if the vassal really had free time herself, though. Perhaps I hid a nerve there. I'll be eagerly waiting for your return, then. Good luck, mercenaries. The utensils are perfectly clean. There's no trace of dust or dirt. I wonder if I could cook before losing my memory. I might remember some cooking techniques if I grab that spoon. Why are you staring at that spoon exactly? Gross. Huh, I uh, was lost in thought. There's just one plate on the table. Does this lady live alone in this villa? Strange, though. She's cooking for two, and she keeps everything very tidy as if she was waiting for guests. If Shiori was here, she'd know. No. I got too reliant on asking Shiori for confirmation about my doubts. Perhaps as an amnesiac, I should start believing more in my own judgment, or I'll always depend on others. Mm, any money... Yep, there we go. This sofa seems quite comfortable, does it? It doesn't look comfortable to me. Huh, <laughs> doesn't the sofa look super comfy? Soft. <laughs> Would you two stop acting like that in someone else's house? Okay, was there something else? No, I think that was it then, okay. Let's also look at Magnolian House too. Hmm. Okay, no, no money here. Oh, never mind. There is money. There we go. So many books. They seem quite old. There's a chest too, but it's covered in dust. And give me a break, Lucas. We can't go opening every chest we find in other people's houses. Just every once in a while. What else does he have in here, the wise man? You can see one of the many alleys of Viborera from here, alleys. Our capital has some impressive architecture, don't you think? I'm no expert in structural aesthetics, but I s I'd say so, yes. <laughs> It may look pretty on the surface, but this still remains a city of spies and deceitful tacticians. Isn't that a bit rude? I intended it in the best way possible. Haven't you noticed the narrow allies, the tall buildings? They were clearly fought out for sharpshooters, spies, or traders that need hiding places, right? Your knowledge about our customs truly is insightful, Vassal. I'm impressed. We reward clever people here in Magnolia. Wouldn't crafty be a more appropriate term? Oh well. When in Magnolia do as the Magnolias do, I suppose. I suppose so, yes. 
Oh, adventurous. It's not every day that someone visits a poor old man. I apologize for the intrusion, but the door was open and we saw nobody inside at first. You we were a bit concerned. Ooh. Oh, don't worry. I do it on purpose. I like to welcome wayfarers, but no one ever comes in. Isn't it a bit risky to invite strangers into your house? Says the hooded man who just walked in uninvited. Maybe, but many years ago I promised Minerva that I'd open my heart to the people of Magnolia. Minerva? Quite the unusual name. It surely takes an amnesiac to be so clueless. He's obviously referring to the legendary hero Minerva. What a day full of surprises. You happen to know her, young lady. <laughs> well, albeit not directly, but yes. I've always been an admirer of the legendary heroes who fought against the Demon King. Well, now the real question is, do you know her, mister? Oh, of course. Her? No, her. Wait, her? Who doesn't? She's remembered with love here in Viberera, at least among the older generations. Minerva never found it fair that some have to toil in poverty fighting for scraps while others dine on gold and silver plates. I'd say that wealth disparity is an issue common to many of the Five Nations, including Huaycada. Ah! But at the very least, she hoped to change this country, and she did. Huh, Minerva could lift the cow with her bare hands. She truly is an inspiration, or for me at least. I have reasons to believe that normal people admire Minerva for more than lifting a cow. That was part of her charm for sure, uh oh, but yeah, she did much for this nation. Did you know she helped us greatly in developing new equipment? She was always ready for to try on new weapons myself and others would design for her use. Wait a moment, you can make legendary weapons? I'm afraid that's not the case anymore, son. But I still have something that adventurers like you may find useful. Consider it a token of appreciation for listening to this old man's memoirs. Ooh, Falcon. Okay. And see, that's why I'm not buying any stuff ever in, well, any weapons. Thank you for your stories and your gift, kind sir. Don't mention it. And may the protection of Minerva bless your souls. All right, who is it for? Equipment. He's got a captain's sword. He's got a warp sword. An otherworldly blade that cuts dimensions. But is it better than Falcon? Absolutely not. Any so tool is here fine you go, with me. This is also worse than a warp sword. Oh, no, don't remove it. And he's got an axe. Can he... Okay, he can only equip axes, I guess. And you... I mean, you're just magical anyway, so... You know. Just checking if I have anything here for her to equip. But I'd imagine I wouldn't. No, alright. Uh, then, I guess it is time for Tanaba Forest.